Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showcasing kind of my movie watching setup, YouTube setup, just kind of chill content consumption spot in my room. I got a few things here that I wanna let you know about. If you've been following the channel for a while now, you may recognize this corner of my room as being my previous iPad setup with the really small computer monitor and me trying to run YouTube and stuff off of an iPad. That worked for a little while, it, you know, it was cool. Um, I still have, you know, I still use my iPad a lot, but I just really wanted to give this corner of the room an upgrade. So let me share with you What's going on here? So first off, the main kind of centerpiece of this setup is the TCL 43 inch 4K TV. Now this TV was incredibly cheap on Amazon and actually had pretty decent reviews. So I was like, I gotta buy this and try this out just to see if it's good. And I've been pretty impressed with it. So drop a comment down below if you would like a full review of this TV and if you'd like me to kind of talk more about it. But as you can see, it looks great as the centerpiece of this setup and for 229 bucks, Amazon link below if you're interested. I think it's a great value. All right, now that we got the centerpiece covered, let's talk about the heart of this setup, the thing that really powers it, and that is the Apple TV. 4k I'm not sure if apple's releasing an update later this year or not but i picked up this apple tv a few months ago as i was spending a bunch of time in my room during quarantine and i was like hey i kind of want an apple tv so the reason i got the 4k um was well because i have a 4k tv and i thought that'd be great but actually the main reason is because the difference between the apple tv hd and the apple tv 4k is more than just their output resolution the apple tv 4k is running the a10 processor and the hd is running the a8 processor both of which are kind of outdated at this point but they seem to work totally fine for running an apple tv i just wanted the higher class processor because i planned to do a lot of uh, of apple arcade gaming on the apple tv which i have been doing and it's been pretty fun i play some butter royale i think that's pretty fun also been checking out ocean horn 2 and stellar commanders a little bit here and there so i wanted that more powerful processor just to be able to do some gaming on it and it's been pretty great i've paired an Xbox One controller up to it and, uh, and done some casual gaming. I'm, I'm a pretty casual gamer. If I'm doing anything where I want more power, I'll just switch over to, to my boot camp drive on my MacBook. But for kind of the, the couch chill gaming, Apple TV and Apple Arcade has been a lot of fun for me. Next up to the right on the same kind of bottom shelf of my entertainment setup here, I've got an Apple Watch charger, a USB-C cable, and a wireless charger. So it gives me a good spot to be able to set my iPad down, plug that in, charge that over USB-C. Got a wireless charger for my phone or for my AirPods or anything like that. I picked up the wireless charger, like a two-pack at Target for like 20 bucks. They're like 10 bucks a piece. I was like, sweet, check that out. But I'll leave a link to a better wireless charger in the description if you're looking to, to get into that. And then just the standard Apple Watch charger so I can charge my watch. If I'm sitting down watching a movie, I don't have any activity that needs to be tracked. I'm not meeting any stand goals. So I always like to charge my watch while I'm sitting down so I'm not missing out on any activity points. And then sliding over just a little bit more still on the bottom shelf, I've got the HomePod. And that's what I use for all of the sound on this setup because using the Apple TV and AirPlay, I can link that up to the HomePod and use the HomePod as my main speaker system. And that has been super great because as I do enjoy the TCL and it's a great TV, it is pretty mediocre in the speaker department. So whether it's be a HomePod or something else, if you're picking up this TV and you care a lot about sound quality, getting getting something better would be nice and uh I was really excited about having a HomePod. I've talked about it in previous videos about the remote in for HomeKit, being able to control stuff. And so now on top of all of those great features, it also just works as the speaker for my TV setup. And it sounds great. Based on the fact that it's only even a singular speaker, watching movies and stuff, it, it does sound like multiple speakers. The HomePod does a, such a good job analyzing the room with that A8 chip inside of it and listening through the microphones to be able to form the sound and bounce it off of walls and just take advantage of the space. It sounds really good for watching movies and I'm super happy with it. And with any movie watching setup, you gotta have some snacks and things. So off to the side, I've got a coffee maker so I can brew some hot water, get some tea going or make some coffee. Um, I enjoy that. It's just the Keurig Mini. Pretty great little coffee maker, single size cup servings, which totally works great for me. Um, and I've also got a little tiny Chefman fridge next to it, also link in the description. Um, 
that can hold six cans of pop perfectly or um, you know if you do four cans of pop you can maybe fit a small container of like some chip dip or something on the top just kind of use that as a mini snack fridge it works out pretty well and then I also do have snacks in the drawers underneath the TV so I'll usually have some chips in there some extra cans of pop or sparkling water been really into the good and gather target brand lately not sponsored by anybody but especially not sponsored by target but I've been really digging their sparkling water lately so I usually keep some of that on hand because um, not all of it will fit in the fridge so I usually rotate have some cold stuff have some room temperature stuff and then as I drink the cold stuff cycle that that room temperature stuff back through the fridge um, also to the left of the setup I kind of have my water bottle and just cup collection. I don't know, it's just kind of a convenient place to take it, keep it in the room, um, just kind of hangs out there. So I've got, yeah, various water bottles, my Yeti mug, things like that. Other than that, that just kind of wraps up this setup. I mean, I do have my guitars hanging here. They are just kind of for decoration, but I guess I sometimes will um, pick it up and play some guitar here as well. But that's not really any tech piece of the setup. It seems like that's mainly what you guys are into, but got my guitar right next to me and the bass guitar kind of tucked in the corner behind the TV as well. But other than that, that is pretty much it for this setup and this video. Leave a comment down below if you got any questions. I'm definitely open for talking more about it and um, yeah I might be making some improvements in the future one thing I actually am curious about is if I got like an Xbox 360 because they're going pretty pretty cheap on eBay right now with some games do you think that I could get my girlfriend to maybe play some like Black Ops 2 with me um, not exactly sure I haven't talked to her yet I just thought maybe do you guys play Black Ops 2 with your girlfriends leave a comment down below I'm legitimately curious that's something I've been thinking about because as I said when I'm gaming here it's super casual and so I'm like, if I can pick up a last gen console for super cheap and just be able to like have some fun, might be worth it. So let me know down below. Other than that, that is it for this video. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.